Today we are going to learn about the single project template from Monday.com. For us to be able to install this type of template, we are going to click this add button right here found on the upper left portion of the screen, and click choose from templates. From the search bar, let's type single project, and click the template from the template center. We will notice a description of the template, and it can be integrated with different apps, namely, Gmail, Dropbox, Google Drive, Excel, Jira, Google Calendar, and Outlook. Then, we click Use Template. In our case, we have already installed this specific template. Once installed, these are the set of groups that we're going to see on our board. The Planning Group, Execution, and Launch Group. These will determine the progress of each task we create for our project. Let's take a look at the different kinds of views. The main table is the view that isn't filtered, not sorted, and there is no color conditioning for each item. The start view, as you can see, there is color conditioning for each column and several items. Next is this view. All tasks assigned to me will be filtered in this view. And then on the project dashboard view, we will be able to see different types of data for each progress of the projects. We will also see a workload widget right here. This is very helpful in a way for us to determine who among our team members is still capable of doing more tasks so we can distribute the responsibility fairly. In the Gantt view, this is a perfect illustration of where your projects are going. We will learn more about the baseline and critical path in another episode from the board's view. Let's go back to the main table. Let's add another task to our project. As we can see, there's no team member assigned yet in the owner column. Let us assign Dan for this one. Let's assign Dan for this one. And set the timeline from November 30th until December 9th. You will notice that the duration has been filled out automatically. We can set the status to working on it once the task has been started, and once the task has been completed, we set the status to done. When changed to done, the completion date will also be filled out directly. What if a task proceeds to the next step of the process, and we wanted to move it from one group to another? Here's what we do. We drag the item to another group. Let's say, the project is ready for launch. We'll drag it all the way down to the launch group. Easy, right? What if there are multiple tasks to move and we don't have so much time for that? So, what we do is create an automation that will do all the magic. Click Add New Automation, that when the status changes to something, move the item to group. Let's say the status changes to working on it, so the item moves into the execution group. Let's duplicate this one so that when the status changes to future steps, the item is moved to launch. Let's go back to our tasks. For example, task 2 had changed its status to working on it. As you see, it automatically moved to execution. If it is ready to be launched, we'll just have to change the status to future steps and automatically it goes down to the launch group. The automation recipes are very customizable. If there is a specific trigger that you want it happen, you can always choose from the Automation Center or create your own by exploring more options. All pre-built templates, including this single project template, can be customized according to your workflow. And what's amazing about Monday.com is it's a low-code, no-code platform. You do not need to be a developer, plus it's very user-friendly. Thank you for watching us today. Follow us for more Monday.com tutorials. We're MindFlows, a certified Monday.com partner.